Man, has this ever happened to you? You're just trying to go for a wander around the city and then suddenly there's some big red X blocking you and somehow everyone but you are able to pass through these invisible walls. I mean, yeah, it happens a fair bit in video games and Yakuza is no exception. But if you think about it, a bit weird, right? Like imagine seeing this sort of stuff in real life, you know? Yakuza is not completely devoid of weird stuff, as you may know, but there are some things that are a little bit strange if you think about them in a realistic context. Starting with... You ever wonder how weird shopkeepers must think you are? I mean, usually when you go to a small little shop like this, you get some milk or bread or maybe like a drink and chips or something like that. But then whenever the Dragon Engine lads go in there, they just grab like... 800 items like yeah i'll grab 10 of that 10 of this 10 of these 10 of those and specifically three of them yeah look it's it's a bit cooked although this is a bit weirder back in the days before the current inventory system just think of it for a sec you walk into a shop and you've got your keys your phone your wallet and if you're like me your nintendo switch and then you just go into the shop and you're all Ah, oh, shit, my pockets are full. Well, time to go home, I guess. That means no sandwiches, no bentos, no Pepsi, no sushi, no beer, no boss coffee, no nothing. Unless, of course, you just clear your inventory by downing a drink in front of the shopkeeper, and then you're fine. You know what else is weird? How come Kiryu, Majima, Yagami, Ichiban, and Kaito all have this strange urge to jump off the same spot at the same batting cages just for no reason? I mean, like, imagine being an onlooker and you're all, Oh my god, is that man okay? And then he just gets up and runs away or starts beating up some dude. Like, it, it's ridiculous. And it's weird that the lads just fly off the roof because you know what doesn't fly off roofs? Birds. Like, like sometimes you see them in the games. You can see them in Yakuza 0 and in Kiwami 1, but then at some point Japan must have implemented their active defense system, which zapped birds out of existence as soon as they entered Japan's airspace. Fun fact, that's a real thing, look it up. But maybe they'd keep the birds out because they just get in the way of the buildings that just, you know, pop in and out of existence. I mean, like, whoever these construction companies are, they just somehow manage to build things so insanely quickly that they may as well just up here suddenly. Like somehow they're just on all sorts of performance enhancing drugs. Crazy though because they either completely rebuild an entire hotel in a couple of months or they just completely ignore something for several years. This hotel for example. In judgment it looks like this and then like a dragon it doesn't look like that. It looks like this instead. There's also this hotel which was completely rebuilt in a matter of seconds. But for some reason the little cafe that's in there is still there and you can look in through the window and just dream that maybe you'll one day get a cupcake from there again or something. I have to wonder though, maybe it's just a thing with hotels. But imagine these construction companies in real life, they'd actually get shit done. Unlike construction workers in real life who spend three years to do nothing. Hurry up, man. But anyway, these same people probably are the ones who patched up the Millennium Tower after it exploded. And you know what's weird about that explosion? How come Kiryu and Haruka were completely fine? I mean, like, look at the size of this bloody thing. The entire rooftop completely explodes. But they're fine. Oh, Kiryu, you know, Kiryu, oh, he's, he's a bit scratched up from the fight before. Haruka's, oh, she's fine. She was off on the side. It's completely fine. You know what, though? I think the only explanation as to how this happens is clearly Kiryu and Haruka both have EOD from Modern Warfare. The next point I'd like to bring up is a bit more gameplay related. But how weird is it that somehow after the 80s, everyone lost their magical powers to extract money from their enemies? I mean, Kiryu, Majima, and Yakuza 0 just punch someone and then they go, oh, shit, and they... But then after the 80s, they must have just sewn up those holes because as soon as you punch them, nothing happens. Well, well, until you knock them out. Whether you like to think that it's Kiryu going through their wallet and taking out money or just the fact that they shit themselves so bad that they just drop everything that they own, including their screws and uh, plastic <laughs> for whatever reason. It's all up to you, but ultimately, it's a bit weird. Speaking of weird, why is it that whenever you kill an enemy with a pummel while you're grabbing them, it, it does this? Why does it do that? Why, why do you just reset into your default position? Unless I'm just completely missing something, like maybe there's some sort of crazy martial art technique that I've never heard of, but there must be some sort of reason as to why whenever you just kill them with it, it just does this. It's especially weird whenever you finish a fight with it because it goes all slow-mo just to watch your character just back to but what about these magical bushes as well? In Lost Judgment, you can just you run through them. They're not solid walls like they were in previous games. But in Like a Dragon, you can still run through them. Except only with the magical powers of the will to want to beat the shit out of someone. Because you can only do it in combat for some reason. I mean, yeah, walking through an entire bush is a bit hard in real life. But I've never just thought, I'm going to beat this guy up so bad, I'm just going to run through this bloody bush. All of it's just, uh, it's all a bit weird. Now, if you've made it to the end of the video, first of all, I'd like to say thank you. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and all that.
but if you're one of those people who are going to comment, you're being nitpicky and biased and your logic is flawed and stupid. Yeah, that's the joke, you f 